Hey guys, it's Arika Misha in the kitchen, getting ready to whip up something nice and quick and easy for the family. I'm getting ready to cook some steak fries, and as you guys can see, quick, easy ingredients. We've got some Publix mozzarella shredded cheese here. I've got a bag of the Golden Crinkle Orida fries, and I've got two packs of the John Souls Food steak fajitas. Like you can use this; it's already cooked steak. You can use it for anything. You know, you want to use it for already cooked. It comes frozen just you know throw some heat to it and it's done quick and easy uh to thaw out it's not you know that hard but yeah i just wanted to come and show y'all the quick and easy ingredients to our meal today and we're going to be making some steak fries all right let's get into this quick meal okay guys let's get started on our steak fries all right i've got my oven preheated to 400 degrees in case i forget to mention that Alright, let's get our fries in. The first thing I want to do is get my fries cooked. We're going to put a whole bag on here. Got my Gotham pan. And I did spray my Gotham pan with the uh, my Pam spray oil. And I did spray this pan as well. I'm going to put the meat over here. I'm going to put them in the oven. Oh, let me get my spray. I need my spray. Hold on, y'all. Got all our fries on here. Make sure we get them all nice and flat. You don't really want any fries on top of each other. So we gotta kind of shift them around. Do your best to make sure they all flat. You know, that way they can you know cook up real good. Alright. More here. Okay. All right, good. All right, let's make sure everybody flat. Get them as flat as you can get them. Okay. All right, that is important for your fries to cook properly. All right, so, and I'm going to spray the top of my fries with the oil this spray oil y'all know i love my pam i also love the public spray but the, we're spraying it just so you know that helps them cook you know helps them get all nice and brown because we're not frying them all right and i have my meat you all saw what uh, meat i'm using um i did cut it into little steak chunks you know so i'm gonna put it on a pan to cook all right Got my pan all sprayed. I'm gonna spray my meat a little bit. And one thing I like about this meat, it's already seasoned in flavor. It's already seasoned, so I don't need to season it. It's so good. This meat, and I'm spraying it, you know, just so it can help it cook and get all nice and brown and toasty and delicious. This meat is good. You can do anything with this meat. You can cook fajitas, uh, tacos, whatever you need. This is nice seasoned steak. It is so good, and you know what? It's tender nice and tender so all right so i don't need to season the meat now i am going to use this uh morton season all you know the all season morton i am going to put some of that on my fries so while they cooking up i'm going to sprinkle some of this over the top of the fries that way this gives our fries like a season you know so they taste like seasoned fries. So our fries are already going to be seasoned. And you guys will see how we're going to build these steak fries. Alright, so our fries are ready. The meat is ready. I'm going to put them both in the oven. Uh, the meat just needs to get uh, warm and hot. The meat's already cooked for you. That's already done. All you're doing is heating that meat up. So I'm going to put the meat in. Maybe about 10-15 minutes. It's not going to take long. Uh, the fries, the fries are going to take a while. Fries will probably take like 30 minutes. So... Let me go ahead, get everything all cooked up, and then I'll be back to show you guys how we're going to build these steak fries. Quick and easy meal, and it's so good. Okay, guys, we are back. As you can see, my fries. I've got my fries pretty much done. You see they're starting to brown. 
but I, do, I let them brown semi like kind of semi I let them cook for about 30 minutes so um, our steak over here is done let me zoom you guys out so you can see the steak over there yep so I've got the steak right there I'm gonna zoom y'all in we got our fries all nice and flat I have changed the oven temperature to I put it on broil at 525 degrees broil because you guys know what that broil is gonna do it's just gonna roast across the top of this so let's go ahead and make our steak fries all right so first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna put down a layer of cheese I am using the mozzarella cheese I'm gonna put down a layer of cheese and the reason why I'm putting down a layer of cheese first so when I put my steak down my steak you know, have something to stick to. All right, so, all right, okay, so, all right, you guys can see. Let me bring you guys out a little bit more so you can see the full, okay. Now, we've got our steak. I put the steak in the oven for about 15 minutes. Remember, it's already cooked. You just wanna heat it up a little bit and of course, when I put the um, fries back in the oven, you know, our meat's going to, you know, get a little heat to it. You don't want to overcook the steak because you know what will happen to the steak. It'll get all chewy. So I just preheated it for like 15 minutes in the oven. And I'm putting my steak meat on top just like that. And I like how I cut the um, steak meat up. I like how I cut it into smaller pieces. You know, that way it's easier, you know, to eat, you know, make it bite size. All right, let's get all of our steak meat in here. You guys see how I'm just dropping it all around. Yep. So good. You can do whatever you want. You can do a cheese sauce if you want with these. But I don't want to do, I don't like doing cheese sauce because the cheese sauce just makes the fries soggy. You know, after you've got them all nice and toasty, you know, and the cheese sauce just makes them soggy to me. So that's why I don't like the cheese sauce. I like using the shredded cheese. And as you guys can see, those two bags of steak, once you cut them up, they give you so much steak. Plenty of meat. Y'all know we like a lot of meat over here. We like a lot of meat. So let me get this all covered up with the steak. Uh, doesn't that look delicious? Oven's getting nice and hot for us. Remember, I changed the heat 525 degrees uh, broil. Y'all know that's going to be hot across the top. Make sure I get all my meat I paid for on here. Get this covered up nicely. Okay, all right, and any little empty spots, you just kind of, you know, move your meat around. Got a lot of meat down here. Okay, let me wash my hands real quick. All right, so now we're gonna use the rest of our cheese. Put it across the top, just like that. And that's gonna melt so good. Load the top of it with the cheese. You can use whatever cheese you want. I like using the uh, mozzarella cheese. Just gives it a better flavor to me. Uh, I mean, you know, you can use cheddar, whatever kind of cheese you want. You know, you can use the, um, you can use like the soy, you can use the gluten-free, like whatever kind of cheese, you know, non-dairy, you can do it with this as well. You know, all kinds of cheese you can use, whatever cheese you want to use. Whatever you pay your money for. All right, so y'all see that? All right, so let me zoom y'all in so y'all can get a really good look. That looks delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the oven. Remember, it's on broil at 525 degrees. I'm gonna put it back in the oven for about five minutes. Yeah, five minutes. We don't wanna do too much because that broil will be hot. Five minutes, we just wanna get the fries all nice and brown and toasty. You guys will see. You know what? I might do 10 minutes. Okay. I'll be back, guys, with the grand finale. Okay, guys. I just took them out of the oven. And let me take you in to the goodness. 
Oh yes. All right, I kept them uh, in the oven for about, uh, actually about eight minutes. Look at the goodness. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nothing but goodness right there. That looks delicious. Uh, you can put ranch on yours, whatever you want to put on them. A little steak sauce, however you want to do it. Sour cream, lettuce, however you want to do it. But yeah, steak fries, guys. They are so good. They look so good. Let me bring you guys out. Oh, I'm going to leave it out right there. That looks delicious. All right, y'all, quick and easy. Cook your fries up, cook your meat, throw it all in there together with some cheese. That's it. Nice little quick, easy dinner for the family, all for yourself. All right, guys, you see me do it. This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. That's Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, of course. All right, guys. Bye.